that's what we've done with Accelerate, helping entrepreneurs and helping startups, and amplify that with the platform, the national platform of Techstars. So, so I started helping out at Kellogg in uh, 1994 in Barry Merkin's class on entrepreneurship. Uh, I started teaching my own class on entrepreneurship at Northwestern in 2003. And, uh, and have been teaching and mentoring in various ways, certainly ever since. It was in 2009 that I had some students from my class in entrepreneurship who went through the Techstars program in Boulder. And I was amazed at how much value it added to them. There were actually two things that amazed me. One was how much value it added to them, and it really did. Um, and two is that that year Techstars had a total of 19 companies. There were 10 in Boulder, 9 in Boston. Of those 19 companies, five were from Chicago. The thing that was disappointing was that at first we thought, wow, Chicago rocks, it's 25% of Techstars population. And then we realized that most of them leave and don't come back. And that's when a handful of us who were in Boulder were sitting around a Mexican restaurant, sitting around a round table. I'll never forget, it was August 6, 2009. And we said, we have to do this in Chicago. And that was the inspiration, that was the spark. Uh, we initially approached Brad Feld and David Cohen and said, let's do Techstars Chicago. And they said, you know, we're not even sure if this Techstars thing is going to work. You know, we're still trying to figure it out. We just opened Boston. We've got a couple other cities we're working on, but we, you know, we want to focus on quality, not quantity. Why don't you do it? We'll help you. We'll tell you everything we know, um, but, uh, you know, we're not ready to expand more. So we did, and we started Accelerate. They shared lots of best practices, legal documents. I was on the phone, Sam and I were on the phone with them all the time. David, how do we do this? Um, it was great. And, uh, and that's how we built the program. So we had the idea, literally the idea came out of Demo Day in August. By November, we had rounded up uh, verbal commitments uh, to back this with funding. December, we had the, the money all far, formally rounded up. January, we opened up for applications, and we started our our first class in the summer of 2010. So I think what makes an accelerator better than another one is primarily due to the mentorship and the process. And Techstars has always been heavily mentorship driven and entrepreneurial friendly, and they do that well. They do a really good job of it. We copied it, frankly. Um, I mean, knowingly, they shared it with us. But, um, and it's something that Accelerate has done very well. So Accelerate's success comes not from Sam and I and whoever else is leading, but it really comes from the mentors in the community. We had 135 mentors who came into Accelerate and donated their time last year to do 610 one-on-one -on -one meetings in the month of June alone. It's crazy. But the amount of brain power and the amount of value that comes from that is phenomenal. There are mentors that come in two buckets. So one bucket is active investors in early stage digital technology companies. So people who've been there, seen it before. And the second bucket is people who have successfully built digital technology companies. And we have founders of Groupon, Grubhub, OpenTable, Priceline, CDW, OkCupid. It is an amazing, amazing group of entrepreneurs who are donating their time to help make this new crop of entrepreneurs that much better. The total cash available to the companies is more than 50% more, right? So last year we had $25,000 seed investment, $50,000 in convertible debt for a total of 75. This year it's the Techstars model, 18,000 in seed, 100,000 in convertible debt for a total of 118 available to the companies. So that changes. Um, there isn't much else that's going to change about our process. It's still the same people doing interviews and selection, the same selection process. June is mentor dating month, July is the entrepreneur's MBA, and August is all about preparing for demo day. Success is something that we have yet to see. Uh, it takes a long time to see that and to see actual returns. As a proxy for that, a lot of people look at how much money has been raised. I want to be really clear, raising money is not equal to success. Um, that said, it's the best objective thing we can measure. So the 30 companies that have been through our program have raised over $30 million in aggregate in the last two and a half years. So we've never taken a single founder. Uh, there's just too much to get done in too short of a time for one person to do it. So we're looking for teams of two, three, and four. We uh, are looking for teams that have technical, a technical co-founder or a technical person on that core team. I don't care so much about how much equity the person has. I care that they're part of that core team. We see a number of companies that will apply with a couple of business people who have a cool business idea and are outsourcing their technology. 
in a fast moving environment like this that just ends up not working. It costs too much money, it's too slow. So have, that te have the technical person on your core team. And then we're looking for people who are tackling interesting problems in big markets, have a lot of passion behind what they're doing. Um, and uh, it's our goal to take them and accelerate them as much as we can in the, in the 90 days.